Senhor Jesus. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it was really wonderful uh, to see all the speakers today and since one week. And uh, it's really wonderful to be here. I'm thankful to the um, SCAPT team, Dr. Ravinder Kumar Mutkil and all. I'm thankful for inviting me for this wonderful conference, First Youth Physio Webicon 2020, which is organized by the Students Wing of SCAP in collaboration with Jagannath Nath. Jagannath University, sorry. And this is a first international lead conference of uh, such a wonderful speaker, such a wonderful audience and all. Before I'm gonna start uh, the, the sad news which came since yesterday, the School of Artists has lost two legendary actors, Irfan Khan and Rishi Kapoor. We are really sorry for them. And um, what to do? Those who have come has to go but they have left behind their shadows. I'm really excited and I was very, very much uh, like a goosebumps were there when I was attending the lectures of lots of the legendary speakers over here. And today's speakers, Dr. Sorab and uh, Dr. Mahinder, it was really excellent. So I'm gonna start my presentation now. <clears throat> I welcome you on behalf of uh, the core committee and all. Today, my topic is a little bit different. The topic is rhythm, the cellular mode of communication. My name is, uh, you know, my name is Said Mohammed Waris, and I'm working as an associate director of academics at London Academy of Sports and Health Science UK. And this is my cell number and. Uh, my WhatsApp number is same, and this is uh, my website. You can visit over there. But uh, before I'm going to start, let me tell you one thing. First of all, to please listen to my PPT and listen to my speech very carefully. Then whatever questions you have, if I'm able to answer them during my session, well and good. If not, you can WhatsApp me on this uh, WhatsApp number. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are all vibrational beings. So vibration is within us and we are connected and we all, everything in this universe is in vibration. And we are a part of this universe, so we are vibrational beings. According to De Broglie, uh, Sir De Broglie gave an equation earlier the wave nature of matter. He stated that a particle has both, a wave, a matter has both natures, a particle nature and the wave nature. So as he suggested that wave particle dualism theory, like if a particle is having the, if a matter is having a particle nature, it is having the wave nature as well. This was stated by Sir De Broglie. And now talking about the connectivity, which is most important. Human body within is connected. Tissues, first cell, cell is connected to the tissue, tissue to the organ and the organ system. So everything is connected. So whenever we are taking body, you should take body as a whole, not a segmental part. Like if you are, uh, yesterday, I think uh, I, I, somebody, I don't remember the presenter's name, he told that if the shoulder is having a problem, it's not only shoulder, it can be associated with the lumbar uh, spine or it can be associated with the, the gluteal muscle, so connectivity. So connectivity should be in, kept in mind whenever you are taking in consideration to treat any part of the body. So body has to be taken as a whole, a whole not, a, not a segmental. So human body within is connected. Cell is connected to the tissue, tissue to the organ, and organ to the organ system. Our con connection to the earth, 
to the nature is one of the most important connections humans have. Without nature, without the earth, we would not exist at all. Because everything in this earth is making us feasible to live on this very planet. The endless human connection beyond the solar system. Our human bodies are connected to the earth, the solar system and beyond. Even we are connected to each other as well. Whatever happens to the earth happens to us. If the planet heats up, we heat up. And suppose in the summers, when the planet, uh, when the season is hot, you really change your adapt, adapt, uh, adaptation. Like you don't wear the warm clothes, you change to the summer clothes, isn't it? You start on changing the, uh, you know, putting on the ACs, the fans and all. It's all because earth has changed and so we are changing. When the earth changes its axial position, we change our axial position. Like when it changes to, when, it, when the earth rotates from day to night, and night to day, we change accordingly. We have long forgotten that the magnetic field inside our body lines up with the mag Earth's magnetic field. And when the Earth's magnetism shifts, we physically shift with it. So our connectivity, this picture is clearly depicting that our connectivity the, with, within ourselves, within the universe, and beyond the universe. The endless human connection beyond the solar system, in the same way, the massive and diverse universe with its trillions of galaxies and solar systems influences everything in the same way to assure stability and balance. Like when a perfect body is in a harmony, so it is in stability and it is in balance position. Likewise, the solar systems, the galaxy, all are in a stable and balanced situation. All the planets in our solar system are in consistent motion. Like the human body, all planets resonate. They circulate heat and they move around the central sun. Like humans, the solar system produces energy, it circulates heat and, is, and it moves around the central galaxy. Just like us, the galaxy resonates. It circulates heat and is it moves around the central universal core. So when we talk about connection, how we are connected to each other, how we are connected to the earth, and how we are connected to the universe. To earth, we are connected to each other, first of all. To each other, we are connected biologically. And to the earth, we are connected chemically. And to rest of the universe, atomically. We all are connected. We all move together in a fine tuned and very precise harmony. And the take away note of this slide is the next time you feel isolated, different, or possibly superior to any other form of life, think about this connection. Humans are but a small piece of a massive creation. So we are present in this universe, but we are not something superior or like that but we are a small part in this vast universe and we are connected to each other. So nobody is superior and nothing is like that. Now talking about human bodies within, human body within, everything within human body is in a rhythm, trying to convey the inside happening. Like I told you earlier that Sir De Broglie stated that every matter is having dual nature, a particle and a wave nature. So is our cell. Cell is also vibrating. So it has been seen that cell vibrates. And how do you know that our uh, the rhythm, how does body convey its message inside happening through rhythm? When this rhythm stops, leads to rigor mortis, like we are dead when this rhythm stops. What is the rhythm? How it tells? The heartbeat. When you take, when you take an uh, ECG, it is what it is showing you. It is showing you the rhythm of the heart, isn't it? Or when you hold the pulse of a person, what it depicts? It's telling you the heart is working, the pulse is going on. Any irregularity, irregularity in the pulse 
what it shows? It's showing that there is some abnormality. It is craving for something. So emotions, when you are inside, when you are inside is not happy or is exaggerated or is in a euphoria way. So you express yourself. What is that? The expression is the rhythm of within. So moments all, all even the moments you perform any moment, you are walking and your arms are swinging. What is this? It is rhythm. So with your flow, with your walk, everything is rhythm. And some people may ask, what happens when we sleep? There is no rhythm. Yes, but there is rhythm. Your breathing, your breathing is also rhythm, and your heartbeat is also rhythm. The pulse is rhythm. So the rhythm is continuous. Rhythms are the key to life. Healthy muscles, uh, like uh, today, maximally, uh, Dr. Mahindra Yadav was talking about the mus muscles and all. We are talking. We will take a quick look on the muscles. Healthy muscles vibrate in the frequency range of 8 to 12 hertz. Healthy muscle vibrates, okay? This can be observed directly on the cellular level. Muscle cells pulsate. Any change in the rhythm of the pulsation detected with the help of the piezoelectric sensors outside the normal range correlate positively with the pain, muscle tension, and other health problems. Changed muscle elasticity and plasticity are also linked to the change in the frequency and in the logistics of the living process on the cellular level so when we are thinking of anything we only think of macro things like which is visible we don't go to the basic things the micro level the skeletal muscles makes up 45 percent of the mass total mass of the body and is there by the largest single type of tissue there are over 600 different types of muscles as you know muscles play an essential role in the transportation of the blood and lymph in our organism together with the heart muscle itself the skeletal musculature is decisive for the transportation of fluids throughout the body and back to the heart and fluids make up 70 percent of our body Visible phenomena of trembling or shaking of muscles, as, as you know, when you are sitting, sometimes your muscle fasciculates, isn't it? Or sometimes it vibrates with the natural phenomena. It's just improving the lymphatic venous drainages and all physiologically. We call it physiological tremors as well. And the pain. Uh, I, I want to go back a little bit. Uh, yes, pain is the tissue crying for oxygen. When you talk about the cellular level, when we talk about the micro things, we will leave the macro thing. We'll talk about macro. Um, of, I'm having shoulder pain. So I'm thinking of anything uh, related to shoulder, like I will first do the testing, orthopedic testing and all, check out if it, there is any muscular problem, any bony problem, any tendon problem or like that, any addition formation or like that. But we will not think about the cell, isn't it? So transportation of oxygen from inhaling process to the cell. As you know, that we breathe and take in oxygen. This oxygen must be delivered to the location in the body where it is needed. This is, first of all, the task of the heart muscles. The heart muscles beats around 60 times per minute in order to deliver oxygen and other metabolites to all organs of our body. But does this system of logistics actually reach to the cell? We have to think about it. You know that the quality, the extracellular matrix within the tissue, the extracellular matrix is decisive for the health of the cell. Indeed, when the logistics of oxygen transport to and from from the cell stops, the cell lacks the oxygen needed to generate energy. Because when oxygen is transported through the capillaries via the extracellular matrix, within then through the process of diffusion, it enters into the cell and then enters into the mitochondria and starts the manufacturing of ATP synthesis and then starts regulating uh, the energy and to your kind uh, knowledge uh, you know that uh, even in dna helicals 
there are some there is some energy which is encoded which is not released and which has been passed to us which has to be released but it is not related it's locked up because of some of the things uh, which some may agree with me or with, which some may not agree with me but let me talk about it unless and until you are within energy is not liberated you will not attain the full healthy body the dna helicals carry you the energy from your ancestors within like you talk about some uh, um, the conditions which are congenital how they pass on likewise these uh, this energy passes on through the helical streams of the dna the quality of the extracellular matrix matters a lot you know that cell vibrates if the extracellular matrix is not healthy enough the cell will not vibrate akin to uh, uh, akin to the fishes in a pond if you have a uh, aquarium in a house you see the water is crystal clear and the fishes are freely moving if you put on the debris within the uh, water what happens to the fishes they are not able to move freely or sometimes after some time when the environment is not healthy they will die same is the case with the cells if the cells are not having the uh, good um, uh, extracellular matrix they cannot live long the breakdown of the logist of oxygen transport as i told how it's uh, how it is taken from the uh, heart to, through the capillaries it reaches to the capillary beds and then reaches to the extracellular matrix if it is healthy then it transfers into the cell and from the cell it goes to the mitochondria level and the atp synthesis and all a relaxed muscle needs oxygen and if you see uh, a dead person when he dies there's a recomotize there's a contraction in the muscles why because the oxygen is no, no more uh, in the cells so it's still very stiff because of deprived of oxygen and all now talking about the alpha rhythms there are rhythms in our body as well from the brain alpha waves are neural oscillations in the frequency ranging from 8 to 12 hertz akin to the skeletal muscles arising from the synchronous and coherent electrical activity of the thalamic pacemaker cells in humans. And it is seen that alpha is the resting state of the brain. When your brain is calm, so uh, the alpha waves are in this, uh, the brain is in the state of, the, uh, of alpha. When the alpha is, uh, the alpha is the resting state, uh, sorry, alpha is the resting state of the brain and alpha waves aid our mental coordination calmness alertness mind body integration and learning and they combinedly as you know that 8 to 12 hertz alpha rhythm is 8 to 12 hertz and our skeletal muscles also have the rhythm 8 to 12 hertz okay so when they correlate there is a total body relaxation when alpha wave is all together our body is at 8 to 12 hertz alpha rhythm and as well as your body skeletal muscle rhythm so the takeaway of this is the rhythm of the body the melody of the mind and the harmony of the soul creates the symphony of the life so rhythm of the body when it is perfect uh, as dr sorab said uh, motion is lotion uh, wonderfully he said it the rhythm of the body the melody of the mind and the harmony of the soul creates the symphony of the life the cells are surrounded by as i told you the extracellular matrix all exchanges communications and all transports to and from the cell takes place through this matrix state and quality of this extracellular matrix medium is determining factor of our health like fishes in, as I told you, fishes in the water, the cells in the extracellular matrix. The vital logistic of su supply and removal of the substance occurs by the extracellular matrix. The well being of each cell depends upon its surrounding. So, 
before I gonna come to this uh, mobile metrics unit, I need to say something about it. First of all, I'm not here to promote any product, but I'm here to talk about the concept of the product, okay? And secondly, being a physiotherapist, I should have the concept of micro to macro and macro to micro, everything. And as uh, Dr. Mahinder and Dr. Sora today told that activation should be followed by passivation. Passivation is always secondary to us. We have our hands as our greatest tools. And our touch matters a lot. If you are not touching a person or your client, which is coming to you, if you are not touching him, you are not feeling him. You won't, even though this time it's COVID, COVID, so I don't know how how long we have to be untouchables. But uh, I hope, inshallah, everything will be better. But still, what I want to say is that a physiotherapist needs to have a touch, a soft touch. He should feel where the alignment of the body is where the problem is exist existing actually so activation should be followed by passivation only after taking a detailed assessment an assessment is very important in our field after taking a detailed assessment then you are the god of your assessment you can design the protocol of your own and start up giving and please and please don't follow the guidelines only Guidelines are made to break and start up again. So what we have to do, we have to be creative in developing the field with our own creativity and research protocols. So rightly said by Dr. Senthil also about the research protocol and Dr. Ravinder Kumar Mudgil, he also told about the research and all in his inauguration speech, I think so. And um, now coming to the matrix mobile therapy, this machine actually what i liked was the concept behind it uh, the concept behind it was very spiritual and you should be knowing that when you are treating a person you need to be a physio and a and and spiritual one as well because you have to check out within himself you have to travel within his body the client which is coming to you uh, Dr. Sorab told me that there, there are two concepts of the pain. One is biomechanical pain and one is bio, so, bio emo, uh, psycho socio type of pain. Isn't it two ways are going out, What if I remember? So you need to be master of everything in this case. When you are a physio, you are a uh, uh, traveler, traveler within him. So Dr. Olerich Randall is the inventor and creative uh, is his creative and vitally important innovation in the medical field. He is a medical doctor, researcher, author, lecturer, and director of the Dr. Randall's Institute in Munich, Germany. He focused on natural rhythms of cells and developed a device, namely Matrix Mobile, which delivers the matrix rhythm therapy. There are a lot of uh, researches and paper presentations and many things uh, regarding uh, even uh, I have a good uh, experience with this machine uh, with respect to quadriplegic patient and CP patients and as well as my uh, strokey patient. Uh, they are getting a excellent result, I will say. And there are a lot of uh, research papers on uh, the website, which is here, myreda.in. It's an Indian website, and there are many Indian uh, physios who are trained in Dr. Randall's Institute in Germany, and they are doing research in it, and they had a wonderful uh, result with respect to the development of the patient. Matrix rhythm, I call it pivot of real. Matrix rhythm therapy's abilities entrains the tissue softly, making its adapt 
adaptability with the tissue system of the healthy living being. Like this works on the principles of cellular uh, vibration. It also works on eight to 12 Hertz. And that's why when it is applied to the tissue, when we start up training the tissue, it doesn't feel any strange thing is uh, touching us, okay? It's adaptability with the tissue system of the healthy living being makes it very entraining the tissue again. Actually, the concept is that it says that the, the cells have lost the vibration. So they are externally giving the same vibration so that it will start up vibrating. It increases the circulation and, and it breaks the addition and stretches the tissue as well. It works on many other principles. It supports structural formation and integration by bioinformating coupling. Rhythm, heat, oxygen, nutrition are the four basic modules for matrix rhythm therapy. The most important thing is swing along. What makes it different from other vibrating devices? What I felt is that entrainment means gently inviting the tissue to swing along. So it, while it's swinging, it's allowing this tissue to swing, swing with it along. And sometimes when you are applying matrix rhythm therapy to a person, it merely stops. It's not harming the tissue. It does, if it is feeling some blockages are there, it will stop. If it feels that some additions are there, it will stop. Then slowly it will start up again. So it's not harming the tissue. It signifies the synchronization of cells, organs, and organ system by an external rhythm. Matrix rhythm therapy applies the normal physiological muscle frequency from outside in order to readapt derailed cellular and extracellular process. It is just reminding the cells to vibrate again. It's not giving something uh, new to the body or extra. The activation of the healing process by entrainment. When blockage is increased, diagnosed as disease, the resistance of the tissue is decreasing. The velocity of the mobile, uh, this matrix mobile unit is sometimes, it nearly stops as I told you. Matrix mobile always mobilizing rhythmically by soft coupling, never harming the tissue. Instead, it works with the physiological harmony of the body. Disease prevention and cure taught in uh, Dr. Randall's matrix concept gives an idea of the healer within. That's why I was telling you that physiotherapist should be a traveler within. So it is encouraging the healer is within you. The basic unit of life are cells. As you know, there is no doubt that they form an orchestra as the body's whole role in the context of self-organization from creation. To keep the rhythmical beats synchronized alive, the master's dialogue in mind and matter must be healthy. Derailments can be activated and readapted by matrix rhythm therapy, which is known as self-healing. It's used as regenerative medicine by synchronization. We connect body, mind, and spirituality, including teaching of the manual life. Hence, matrix rhythm therapy is generative Med regenerative medicine based on system biology. Now the contraindications of it, before I go to the contraindications of, indications are many, orthopedical, neurological, as it is taking body as a whole, so it depends. That's why it is necessary that you have to first understand the concept of the matrix, then you can apply it then, as I told you, it depends upon the assessment intake of yours. As uh, Dr. Sorab also told in the morning that it's the red flags and the yellow flags, which has to be kept in mind. And uh, with respect to the spiritual aspect of what I told you, it's not only limitized to uh, matrix rhythm therapy or the concept which I told you. You need to think about your body, body as a whole. It is not segmental. God didn't create it to your shoulder first, then he created your leg, then the thoracic, then the back, then the head and all. It's all connected. Nothing is separate, separate, separate. Everything is connected.
so when you leave this body you are giving the earth its part you are giving the uh, biological people its part and then you are giving your soul to the universe and then it decides about soul what has to be done with it so the contraindications are opened inflamed or infected skin surfaces new fractures increased bleeding tendencies or hemorrhaging tendency of for embolism cardiac peaks makers mucous membranes bony surfaces and direct eye contact and even if somebody is on the medications of anticoagulants like aspirin pelabex and all my red disease with my uh, matrix mobile mobile therapy i sum up with these words connects macro with micro transformation and vice versa from passivation to activation in gliding transitions it opens a new window in knowledge and skills for system biology in medicine it's me due to training of matrix rhythm therapy and i conclude with this life is rhythm and rhythm is life thank you all and stay safe stay healthy any questions i will come back in one minute again i will be on uh, live on uh, the same page give me 2 minutes